On this episode of Coastal Cooking Presents Quick Bites, we have Chef Amber from Alcanese Kitchen and Tap, and she's gonna be making a very special edition of their dirty mac and cheese. Stick around to find out how it's done. Welcome to Coastal Cooking Quick Bites, brought to you by Pensacola Energy. All right, on this episode of Coastal Cooking Presents Quick Bites, we have Chef Amber from Alcanese Kitchen and Tap. Uh, Chef Amber's making a special edition of her uh, dirty mac and cheese. Yeah. What makes it so special? Well, normally the dirty mac and cheese just comes with the Koneka sausage, um, the truffle, and the freshly shredded cheddar, and then topped with fried collard greens. I make them from scratch and you eat them as a side at the restaurant, but kind of like kale chips, it's that texture and consistency that goes on top, and when you mix it all together, it just becomes magic. Sounds awesome. Um, but today I'm going to add cra uh, lump crab meat to it to uh, feature towards the seafood festival. Awesome. And, and Chef Amber is going to be at the Seafood Festival this year at September 29th, 2019. Uh, it's a Sunday. She'll be on at 1 p.m. featuring Alcanese Kitchen and Tap. Uh, it's a wonderful time, and if you want to see her in person, make sure you come down there. It's going to be a great event. So what do we start with? Um, well, I'm going to get the crab meat and the Koneka sausage sautéing in this pan here. It's about a half a cup each. Um, and then get the heavy cream, half a cup of that, going over here. Uh, with the cheese, and the, again like a one-to-one -one ratio, um, half a cup, freshly ch shredded cheddar cheese, white cheddar, the golini noodles, get those heated up. And then I we love do watching you guys do that, I mean, you know, <laughs> professional chefs, I make a mess doing anything in the kitchen. Oh, you I still this. make a mess. <laughs> <laughs> and then you got a half a teaspoon of truffle oil that goes in there. Can be a little bit over uh, powering as far as flavor goes, so you want to be careful when you add that. And then I'd say about a half a teaspoon of salt and pepper, just, you know, season to taste. Now, are those noodles, did you already pre-boil those? And, yep, okay. um, they're, they're par-cooked. Um, so about a little before al dente because they continue to cook mm. in the, while you're melting everything together. So this looks like a pretty simple dish. It's uh, Yeah, it, it's very, in it, but it's delicious. You know, like if you want to impress somebody at your house and make that, dinner. That's almost like everything you've shown me so far and everything I've tried at Alcanese kitchen and tap is uh, we talked on the other episode on you did the uh, fried pickles homemade pickles uh, you make your own ranch but on your other episode you made blue cheese kettle chips and they were absolutely incredible make sure you watch that episode but you have to go to Alcanese kitchen and tap it's at 200 South Alcany Street uh, and try one of those they're absolutely phenomenal it, and you know, like something like that, if you're gonna have like football is coming up, so you got a football party, you know, it's just something different than your normal snacks and things like that. Yeah, we all love queso and the Rotel, but yeah, I, you know, that's this is totally different. It, it was just it was really, really good. That's something we're about to do a menu change. Actually, um, it's, I'm gonna add some things, not really taking too much away, but we're gonna have like a beer cheese queso dip on oh, no. there. Yeah, it's, you know, it's a tap room, so I'm trying to include beer in as much as I possibly can, like I mentioned with the gravy before. And you guys are open Sunday through Thursday from 11 a.m. to 10 p.m. Mm -hmm. uh, Fridays and Saturdays, 11 a.m. to 12 p.m. Lost yeah. piece crib. Live music, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays. You have a beautiful courtyard in the back where you can go out there, especially when the weather's nice and it's been a little cool in the evenings. It's not, not as hot as it usually is in August, so it's just a great place to try some awesome food. All right, and then you add this once it's all nice and heated up and the Koneka starts getting a little brown to it. Set that out of the way. I'm going to move it over here. Turn off our burner in the middle. There we go. Stir everything in there. And once you get it all mixed in, go ahead and put it on our dish here. And 
And then we do something a little crazy at Alkanese. We take our collard greens and we fry them. And they go right on top. I don't think I've ever seen that before. I've, so many people that come in there are like, I mean, even this guy from Louisiana was in, installing the air conditioning the other day, and he's like, I literally just sent my entire family a picture of this because we've, <laughs> I've never seen this done, and he said it was like the best thing he's ever had. That's so, awesome. Yeah, and that's it. Thank you. So there you have it. It's, this is the very special edition. We're celebrating Alchemy's Kitchen and Tap being on this year's Fiesta Seafood Grill, Sunday, September 29th at 1 p.m., that is their Dirty Mac with an added crab. crab. Make sure you go buy uh, 200 South Alconies, go see Chef Amber, order you some Dirty Mac, and make sure you get those blue cheese kettle chips. Those are incredible. <laughs> Chef Amber, thank you so much for being on the show. Yeah. I can't wait to work with you at the Seafood Festival. We thank you for watching. Check out all Chef Amber's other videos, and we'll see you next time. Thank you. This has been Coastal Cooking Quick Bites, brought to you by Pensacola Energy. 